Hey golfers and welcome back to the tour van here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we are joined by two members of the University of Minnesota men's golf team. We have Ben Warian here with me and then today hitting the shots it's going to be Brock Winter. Um, Brock Winter has his G430 LST Gamer with him uh, but today we have a fun twist to this one because Ben has chosen a club from our inventory uh, to compare to that driver. So um, I guess Brock, go through. I, I, it's a G430 LST, but anything else in terms of specs, the loft, et cetera, on your driver to be aware of first? Yeah, so um, it's a nine degree head, okay. uh, knocked down to 7.5 with a Ventus Black 7X shaft. Okay. I think it's one of like the heavier shafts on the market, which kind of helped me yep. with uh, lowering the speed launch a little bit. So I've been playing ping since the 400 and I've loved everything since. So just got the 4.3 this past spring and love it. And been playing the Ventus series for a few years now and okay. I just don't see myself switching at all. Yeah, that is uh, certainly the probably heaviest and stiffest driver shaft or one of them that's kind of available. So um, now Ben, you get to kind of reveal the driver that you found out in the store here. What do we got? I do. So we have a Callaway um, Big Bertha Steelhead, nine degree. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is is uh, pretty old. Uh, <laughs> We, we also have a, uh, we also have, let's see, we have a rich 99 series firm flex shaft as well. So not even, not even stiff, extra stiff, regular. We don't even know. It's just firm. So, <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll, we'll find out how this goes here after he, uh, he rips a couple, a uh, couple with his stock. Yeah. One, yeah. So the gamer, so the plan is we're going to have five good drives with your gamer. Um, and then, uh, we'll give you this one and we'll see how that compares. I know, We've got one in the bank already that we've uh, created that we did see a pretty big difference in, in the performance over you know, several years of technology. So um, I think we should, uh, we should see some pretty big differences again, I think. I think so. You ready to so swing we'll here, Brock? I am. I'm excited to find out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good start. You see a lot of that when you play with him, just right down Broadway. It's a baby fade down the middle. It's a tree. Yeah, he, he kind of likes to work it both ways, actually. Yeah. He's kind of been a natural drawer for some time, but I think he's just showing off a little bit for the camera. He's <laughs> just mm. working, working it both ways. Yeah, that one might be working the other way a little bit. Yeah, oh, there you yeah. go. See, that's just called versatility. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's one of the... Yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's fun to watch. It really is. When he's going, it's... Mm. One of the things, right? I think a lot of the viewers at home can really get a lot out of is just watch his tempo while he's mm -hmm. hitting these. He's swinging these, this, uh, these drivers at just about 117 miles an hour, and it's just everything is so in balance, in control. Um, just really swinging within himself, and because of that, is able to really strike it efficiently. <laughs> Yeah, yeah geez. here we go. He's, I don't think he's. Uh, he's I'm, thinking I'm not about trying to do the announcer's jinx here, but I don't think he's missed the fairway. He's yet, thinking so. about missing one. This is. <laughs> I've, I've been able to watch this for yeah about the last last ten years now. This. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh on the right edge, it's, it's right edge of the close. fairway. Oh boy, it's gonna be close. Oh boy, disaster. Oh, yeah, we got it. Exactly. All five are in the fairway. Boy, Whole shocking. Home. Ho-hum. Shocking. Um, so there's our average numbers on five swings with the gamer. We're at about 100 and just under 170 on the ball speed. We're carrying it 287. We're over 300 on the total average. Um, obviously, you're able to work it both ways. Hit the high fade, hit the high draw. Um, do we have a hypothesis from you, Brock, on going from that to a, an old 90-degree steelhead driver? Anything, I mean, ball speed's got just got to go down quite a bit. <laughs> Carry distance could change a little bit depending on the spin rate. I know it's spinning a little higher than usual, but it's going to be quite a big difference on the ball speed. And then the yard is just going to go from there. So yeah, yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I also want to get your feedback too on you. You obviously have the club in your hands yeah. now. You know your feedback on how that club feels. You know how different that looks at at a dress. I mean, yeah, initially, obviously, it's significantly smaller head. I'm sure it's almost twice as small. For me to feel comfortable over, I'm going to have to tee it way down. I mean, this tee is almost <laughs> in the ground, and it still feels too high. So, But I, I like the look of it 
Um, I'd say my strength is definitely driving the ball, so I don't see myself missing the club face or missing the center of the club face here with this one either. Okay. Yeah, he hits the, the center of the club face with some pretty pretty amazing regularity. That's for sure. He stripes it. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. A little... Is that a, obviously that was a pretty square faced shot there. Yeah, that felt uh, yeah. pretty good. Yet, I kind of think the theme light. here is going to be the you know if you get a lighter and more flexible shaft, exactly, the ball's going to tail right. Exactly, yeah. they combine that with the head that's not quite as hot and yeah. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, it's yep, just that, uh, hard that, to square that, it up. That checks out. We're gonna get one hard, in front of us here. It does check out. We're gonna hard get one to square in front of us it up. Here. Yeah. Oh, wow. that was squared up. That was squared up. Yeah, you can see it's just like, yeah, it's hard to get that thing to, to not the, curve uh, right. With right, the shaft. right, yeah. How's the uh, feel at impact with that it feels, one? It feels great. I mean, obviously you can tell it's a, it's a titanium head or a steel head. Yeah. At, uh, I mean, compared to the new stuff, that's just so thin. Yeah, it's right. so light. Uh, it's just not coming off as hot, yeah. but I mean, you can no. definitely, you can tell where you're, you're hitting on yeah. the club face. The nice thing for you guys is if you, you guys don't miss the center of the face, yeah. but I imagine. I imagine <laughs> well, he, he doesn't really. I, I, I tend to. Miss, be, I tend to. Uh, yeah, I tend to explore the Ooh, explore the outer edges of the face there. from time to time. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 166. 166 is pretty hot. We're getting there. Is that probably the size of about a three wood today in terms of looking down at it? Yeah. Pretty close. I would yeah, say so. I'd say so. All right, so now there we get go. to do the real fun now part. Now we get to this do is, the, the little comparison. This will be interesting. Up the dispersion circles. The yeah. little comparison. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, yep, there, there we go. Is. There we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's a slight difference there. Slight difference. Um, and then uh, now we get to also bring up the numbers, and that's also fun too. So uh, 116's in the club speed, so you're yep. swinging the club very consistently. Um, but then we see that, that big, big ball jump. speed difference. We big see jump. also the spin go way up, which isn't yep. a, Big surprise based nope. on that kind of that slice, and so we are we we're thinking what happens is that that shaft kind of lags behind because yep. it's lighter and you know more whippy, and because of for that sure. the face is open and it kind of cuts across the ball. Is that kind of that's for sure? I think what we're theorizing is why the ball goes right. Yeah, uh, kind of fun to see 135 feet on curve. Yeah, um, of an average. Yeah, um, it, it almost in a way like and again. At this time, when players were hitting clubs like this, they were also playing the Balata golf ball. So probably some th uh, more things changed, but it almost makes you think like how they swung then yeah. hitting these clubs to like, you know, not have that big right miss. You know, it's a uh, it was a different game back. Yeah, then. I feel like there's just much more control back yeah. then versus now we're kind of bomb and gouge. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I mean, what I was actually kind of surprised at was the launching. This thing being a degree and a half more. Mm, yet yeah. uh, I launched it a little bit lower, which, I mean, it's not a big deal, it's only a degree, but I mean, I launched it pretty optimal. So, but other than that, I mean, it was the numbers that we kind of expected to see. So it's just right. interesting to see where technology has taken us in the past 20, 30 yeah. years. Right, yeah, and as you can see too on the, you look at the face angle and the face to pass, you can kind of see those, just that face is lagging behind, like For sure. so it's open. Um, For sure. So it's it, it does, you know, clearly shows how the technology has improved a little yep. bit. Um, uh, that was a pretty good find, Ben. Uh, <laughs> Thank where'd you even find Thank that you. here, anyway? Uh, right. Yeah, way in the yeah. But actually, I had to go up to the attic for that one. <laughs> <laughs> had to go, uh, yeah, scrounge yeah, up right next to the old persimmons. Yeah. Next time you go to a second swing store, uh, ask about the attic, uh, <laughs> where to find the the old the early old club. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. Uh, but that was good. That was yep. really good stuff. Um, I think uh, clearly you're gonna stick with your G4. I will. LST. I love that thing. Um, you hit five balls and all five were in the fairway. And for sure. I don't see why you would change any of Not that. Not a chance. Um, uh, maybe something in the future comes along. Maybe for fun. Compete. A little half, half, half size bag, kind of go a little old set, but. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are, I mean, we, there, we've noticed there's a lot of people that do that. You know, yeah. they, they are club junkies and they come in and look for the old stuff. So, um, but this was really fun. And you gotta clearly can hit the ball really well. Really good stuff today. Thank you for doing that, Brock. Absolutely. Thank you for finding that club, Ben. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this was really fun. Uh, golfers, stop into Second Swing Store. See what there is for you, uh, whether you like the old clubs, you like uh, save some money on something used, or you want to find something that comes to fit uh, brand new for your game. We have it all here. So, um, Brock and Ben, thank you again. Thank you. Really fun stuff here. Thank fun. you.